Hello everyone. <clears throat> Welcome back. I'm Ben and I'm here with four more units from Waverley Instruments. Uh, we refer to them as the lopes because there's the filter lope, the flanger lope, the phaser lope and the echo lope. And uh, the lope part refers to an envelope follower, which each of these have uh, and you can use it to control different parts of the effect. So if you don't know what an envelope follower is, I'll tell you right now. It's basically um, a way of controlling things with picking dynamics or velocity or volume, basically. The more input you give the thing that has an envelope follower or the envelope follower, the more that envelope will open up and the more that will control various different parts of an effect. We'll start with the filter lope. Now I've, uh, I've assigned these all MIDI keys, so I'm going to turn them all up there. Now the filter lope is probably the most easily recognisable envelope follower based effect because it's been around for a long time. The, famously, an envelope filter used by Stevie Wonder, Jerry Garcia, Booty Collins on the bass famously. Uh, and it works kind of like, um, a bit like a wah-wah pedal basically, except instead of controlling the sweep of the wire with your foot, you're controlling it with your picking dynamics. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna turn this release down a bit. We're on the envelope. Uh, I've placed all of these in the effects loop of the Junior Verb Deluxe Plus, which uh, if I turn the effects loop off, this is my kind of basic sound, all right? So, oh, if I turn my guitar up. <laughs> Nice, nice sound. Then in the effects loop, I've just put them, I've just chained them all together in the effects loop, but I'm just going to use one at a time, probably. Starting with this filter lope. Now, um, at the top of the effect, we've got the filter controls, which I'll come back to in a minute, because I want to get straight to the envelope. Um, I've, done, I've done a few different attempts at this video, and they've all turned out so long. Uh, so in this, in this one, I'm just going to concentrate on the envelope element really of each effect and what that does because that's the thing that's a bit unusual about all of these but you should definitely get hold i mean they're five dollars each i think or you can get them as part of the gig bag um yeah there's there's loads there's loads on them and i'm just going to skim the surface today but we're going to talk about the envelope so the sensitivity control they all have a sensitivity control um again i've mapped it to just a, a knob down here on my uh, nano control too this, this getting the sensitivity control right is really important it varies depending on your playing and on the guitar that you're using and all that kind of thing so let me have a little go at dialing it in and you can see when this little light that's next to the uh, the envelope controls here comes on that's when you're actually operating the envelope so let's have a look at this there you go you saw that little light come on so you can see that's cool right um i have turned the peak all the way up which basically makes the effect sound yeah, it kind of just makes more of the effect, basically. The frequency controls where the um, the frequency starts. So if it's down here, it's a very low frequency. You can hear that goes all the way down to the low end. I like it just below half here, something like that. Maybe a little less. <laughs> So that's all very cool. Then down here, uh, we've got the envelope controls themselves, okay? And I'm gonna go into these here. I won't bother touching on them too much in the next couple, but they all have the same controls pretty much. Apart from the echo lope, but I'll do that last. So you've got attack. Um, that's the envelope attack time. So what that's from, that's the time it takes from when you play a note that triggers the envelope. That's how long it takes to open up provided there's still signal there. So if I put it on a long attack, you'll hear what I mean. So let's take that up to, oh, that is long. Okay, so like this, hear that? That kind of wow, that's the attack. I'll turn it up even more. And the release is the opposite end of that. 
So at the moment it's a very short release time. It just cuts it straight off. If I turn that release up, you get a much kind of smoother taper off and the hold control uh, makes it hold the effect before the release starts. So see that you can get more kind of in the middle there. <clears throat> They're all, they all have an effect on how the envelope works and you'll probably want to adjust them depending on the kind of on, on the on the song or the tune you're playing um, unless you just want to have it set as a kind of generic like fast attack fast release uh, funky envelope filter which I do a lot of the time there's nothing wrong with that um, but you can use it for some very musical effects if I turn them all the, all the way up it's very long so that's pretty cool turn the hold down a bit So there's, you know, there's lots of fun to be have there. There is also the option on the uh, filter loop to switch to the LFO, which is the low frequency oscillator, which just makes the effect run automatically. And the rate controls the speed. Uh, there's a drift button here, which is also on, uh, it, it crops up on all these ones in various places. That gives it a bit of kind of humanizing variation, I suppose. So you get this. What you hear, it's and the kind of timing varies ever so slightly. Um, but there we go. And the sweep, I didn't mention the sweep. That's how far it will sweep. So. So you can get some really dramatic effects if that's turned up high. Um, but there we go. That is the filter loop and that kind of covers the basics of an envelope. I'm going to use it now. I'm going to turn that one off. I'm going to turn the phaser loop on. The phaser loop is a lovely phaser on the LFO setting. Let's go to the envelope setting where it's also a lovely phaser, but it's a phaser that's controlled by the envelope follower. Okay, uh, let's leave those lights off for now and see how we can make this sound. <laughs> Turn my sensitivity down. So you can see uh, if I turn that attack and release time down a little bit. It's almost kind of wah wah ish uh, with the settings as they are. You've got a choice of two stage or four stage and A or B frequency, which is, uh, I won't go into it. There's a description of it. It makes a subtle difference. I think I normally prefer B. But with this, what you really, when it starts to get really fun is when you press this button, because that puts half of it out of phase with the other half. So you get this effect. If you're listening in mono, <laughs> you won't appreciate this. In stereo, it's going all bonkers either side of my head, which I love. I'm gonna turn the sensitivity down, so. That's so cool. Turn that hold control down a little bit. So you could really control the like the envelope around the note. So turn the sensitivity back up. Um, I turn the the release time down, the hold time actually even more. So that's that's super cool. I love that. Just being able to have a little bit of kind of the weird stereo phase around each note, even when you're playing fast, is great. Um, you could also make it slow and all that kind of stuff. Let's make it slower than that even, shall we? There's my release. 
Now, what I like to do on the long ones like that, you've got your, as I say, you've got your LFO control as well. So that gives you the standard phase. It's a really nice phaser. If you put it in the middle, you get the envelope and the LFO. So... So you can hear, if I turn the rate up, it's even more obvious. Um, you can hear there that when it was held before, if it was held just on the envelope, it's fine, but it stays in one position. The phase, kind of the phase shifter stays in one position while the envelope's open. If you have the LFO on as well, um, that keeps kind of doing the, the phasey thing while the envelope is open, like this. And then it cuts off. So again, a very cool effect. Um, inverse. Let's talk about that because that uh, I forgot to mention that on the filter loop there. But what that does is it kind of makes the effect work backwards. So. So if I turn the sensitivity down, the it means the effect will be happening unless I play hard, in which case it'll cut out. So you can have it kind of come in on the tail end of notes. If you want, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's look at the flangelope now. I'm trying to make this video so it not be too long. Um, the flangelope. Uh, let's start with it in the envelope mode because that's where it is. I've got this flip-flop stereo switch turned in. That's not its official name. Um, and the sensitivity is there. Let's see how it sounds. Now this one <clears throat> was inspired by Rob at Waverley Instruments, uh, love of Frank Zappa. So uh, if I give myself a little bit of boost here, it's going to send all my... Uh... Let me turn my sensitivity down a bit and my volume down a bit actually. <laughs> I want the LFO on as well. Same thing as the phaser lobe. <laughs> it's just crazy. Uh, I'm gonna turn the attack time and the release time down and the hold time. See how that happens. Turn my sensitivity down a bit. Where are we? Envelope. Again, down even more. It's because I got so much gain on from the boost. Fun. That's fun. I mean, um, there's so much you can do on these. I'm going to turn that depth down a bit. Turn the regen up. See how crazy it sounds. Yes. Whoa. Too much. <laughs> too much regen. Again, you really need to be listening in stereo to this to get the full um, majesty of it. So the attack. Let's try that. Longer attack. <laughs> As you can see, there's a lot, there's a lot there. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that, but that gives you an idea of where we're at with it before we hit the echo lobe, which is the fourth. 
in this series. It's slightly different, which is why I left it to the end. It still has the envelope control, uh, which controls this rather lovely delay. So if I turn all of the, I turn the envelope and the duck off for now, so you can hear what the delay sounds like on its own. Turn this boost down. <clears throat> Right, uh, you've got delay time, you've got tone, you've got regen controls, depth, rate, mix, all that stuff. If we turn the envelope on, what it does is the envelope controls the mix <clears throat> of the wet and dry signal. So the harder you play, there's more wet signal than dry signal. And I'll show you what, it, what I mean. So. Which is cool. What's extra cool and is my favourite thing about this is the ducking delay. Because a ducking delay, what it'll do, um, you set the sensitivity to your playing and then it ducks the level of the of the delays that are going on behind you when you're playing a line. It's what I was using in the introduction. Um, it means that you get more control over kind of what you can hear in terms of the delay and the actual kind of lead lines that you might be playing at at the same time. I'll show you what I mean. So um, if I turn the sensitivity on this all the way up and I play, you should hear my guitar and then the delays will come in afterwards. So there you go. Especially if I turn this depth control, uh, where are we? Oh, that's the wrong one. Depth control all the way up as well. Just as an example of what it can do. There it is. Um, that's a bit extreme, isn't it? But um, that's what it can do. So if you turn the sensitivity down, the depth down a little bit, uh, something like this. And I love the way that kind of blooms at the end. Um, so yeah, that, that is what the Echo Lope does with the, the envelope follower. It's really good. I mean, I've only scratched the surface of what these, these are all capable of really, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how the envelope follower works with each effect and how you can use it in a really creative kind of musical way. Um, yeah, with, with all of the lopes. The filter lope, phaser lope, flanger lope, and echo lope available now from Waverly Instruments. Uh, if you'd like me to do any more in depth uh, videos on these, then do leave a comment below and do remember to click the like and subscribe button because I'm going to be, I definitely will be doing some more stuff on these um, in one way, shape, or form. Uh, and um, yeah, let me know what you think. I think they're super cool. I've only, I've only really scratched the surface of what they're, they're capable of, I think. I'm looking forward to using them in a mix um, when I can really. You know, not be playing the guitar at the same time and actually kind of get into the, the nitty gritty of how the controls are set up. But yeah, it's, they're, they're huge amounts of fun. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set up a, uh, the filter lope. How are we doing on that? Yeah. It's great fun. Uh, I'm going to turn my attack down. I release down my hold time down. I'm going to turn my phaser on, just standard. I'm going to turn that on, the envelope. And I'm going to play out. See you soon, everyone. Bum